One of Sonar X2's many strong points is its window management. The award-winning Skylight interface takes care of the layout, allowing you to take care of the music. In many DAWs, window management can get in the way of your workflow. You constantly need to move and rearrange floating windows and plugins as you work. Sonar X2 and Skylight keep all of this constant rearranging to a minimum. There are five different ways to manage floating windows and plug-in GUIs, making window management a breeze and leaving you free to concentrate on the task at hand. First, the Pro Channel. This is Sonar's inline channel strip. It consists of an ever-present EQ module, and several other modules are available to add as required, including compressors, a gate, reverb, tube saturation, console emulation, a limiter, and an FX chain module. Not only does it sound great, but it uses minimal CPU power and is extremely ergonomic. In the track view, it can be called up simply by pressing Ctrl plus I, which opens it in the inspector. Press I to hide the inspector so it's there when you want it, and hidden when you don't. By default, the Pro Channel follows the current in-focus track, so there's no need to hunt through plug-in GUIs looking for the right one to tweak every time you change track. When the current view of the strip is full, scroll the display with a roll of the mouse wheel. Next come FX chains. Instead of having to manage multiple plug-in GUIs to access just a few parameters, use FX chains instead. Load the plugins you want to use into the FX chain and then assign plug-in parameters to the FX chain's controls. The modulation matrix can be used to assign multiple parameters to each control. For example, reduce compressor threshold as the ratio increases or decrease the feedback setting of a delay as the depth of a chorus increases. FX chains make this easy and there's no need to open the plug-in's GUIs at all. Although, of course, if you want to, they are just a double click away. FX chains are versatile, easy to set up, and can be saved for recall in later projects. Sonar X2 ships with 48 FX chains in Essential, 76 in Studio, and 160 in Producer. The Multi-Dock is another great way of managing windows. This is a container that can be used for holding multiple views of Sonar's various displays, as well as effects and synth GUIs. Keep it within the main Sonar view or float it onto a second monitor. Press D to show it and then drag and drop any window into it where it is loaded into its own tab. Press Shift plus D to maximize or restore it. Switch between the tabs by clicking on them or cycle through them using Control plus Shift plus Left or right cursor keys. Hide it completely by pressing D and show it again instantly with the same key press. The Multidock hits fast, simple and effective and like the Pro Channel Inspector, there when you want it and hidden when you don't. Screen sets are a great way of managing complete views. A screen set is simply a workspace set up how you want to work. Window placement is just one of the many layout options stored in a screen set. Set your workspaces up how you want them and then switch between them instantly by pressing the relevant number key or selecting a screen set from the screen set module selector drop-down. They can be renamed locked to prevent changes and once you've set them up how you want them, import it into other projects. There's a total of 10 slots available and switching between them is fast and easy. Finally, there might be times when you want to maintain the current view but work with the display hidden beneath open synths or FX plugins. This is where Sonar's X-Ray function comes in. It makes a plug-in interface virtually transparent, allowing easy access to the underlying view. Press Shift plus X to make just the one plug-in under the cursor transparent. Repeat to return to full view. Adjust the depth of transparency in Preferences. Control plus Shift plus X applies X-Ray to all plug-in windows for a quick hide-all effect. That's Sonar X2 multiple tool for simple, effective window management so you can spend your time making music instead of shuffling floating windows.